all right guys i am back i am back at it i'm back at it with another video my name is josh for all those who are new i do workout videos i do hair videos so if that's something that interests you please make sure you subscribe like the video and I'm doing a body game series so i will have body game videos and today's video about body game is body game jealousy body game they hate you body game you deal with a lot of issues and you don't know why sometimes you're confused and this video is going to help you solve that issue this video is going to break it down into like how to deal with it and what it looks like when it happens to you because it might be subtle you know what i'm saying it might be like a subtle thing and this needs to be talked about especially for my guys i want y'all to understand i want y'all to know what's going on for you guys this is definitely important when you are working out this is when you're changing your body this is when you're getting you know what i'm saying more cut more lean on a day-to-day -day life um when you're dealing with body game uh this is like for my guys like first starting out like for bit my beginners and things like that when you start seeing progress or when it's been a it's been a longer period of time since you worked out you know what i mean like you kind of been through your first three months but the difference is now is that for this example like you've been putting the work in and it's paying off you know so your hard work is paying off and people are starting to take notice as what's happening to you and your body and your confidence one of the main things uh we're dealing with body game dealing with jealousy or right like why they hate you they will always bring up of how you looked before so if you were really really big or you were really kind of sloppy or you weren't really too concerned about your physique they'll bring that up because that's when they was most comfortable with you you know what i'm saying when you're not on your ground when you're not disciplined people are comfortable you know what i'm saying they don't see you as a threat you're not like a big deal oh no you know that's just just jim you know what i'm saying that's just ronnie you know what i'm saying oh, that's that there's nothing to worry about you know what i mean we don't we don't we're not uncomfortable it's just like you know it's nothing special you feel me like i don't feel like it's anything to worry about it's not a threat but once you start putting the work in let's say for six months straight hey you know you may start to notice that people are starting to take heed maybe somebody only wants to talk to you specifically or maybe you know what i'm saying you have a good interaction and in drive through and it's like you have to realize that like, people take notice of that especially when you're putting in work and people change from being comfortable to uncomfortable and that is a hard pill to swallow from people it's like it's a dynamic change it's a dynamic shift and it's an energy shift and it just shows you how they seen you before. It just shows you how inconsiderate they were of you, you know what I'm saying? Or how little they thought of you or what you were possible, like capable of and everything like that. And they don't like the new you. Like, I just hate to break it to you, but it's just like the new version that you're becoming is making them uncomfortable because then it's like, well, if I want my body similar to you, if, I'm a, my, if I want the same type of uh, physique or if I want a six pack, guess what? I got to do what I'm doing already and then work out. You know what I'm saying? I got to put the time in to do that. And I want the results. I want the benefits, but I don't have time to work out. I don't have a gym membership. I'm going to make excuses. I want to eat how I want to eat. But you know what I'm saying? When it's time for summer, when it starts to warm up, people start to see you, your gains. You know what I'm saying? You start gaining, you're getting more muscle and it makes people uncomfortable. One thing I got to tell you guys is that in this life, it things aren't a problem until it's a problem you know what I'm saying things don't heat up until the stove is ready you know what i'm saying or you know what i'm saying a fire is not hot until you touch it you know what i mean so when you start to work on yourself when you start progressing you become a reflection of what somebody could have done if they would have took the time out to do what you've done you know what i'm saying if they would have just used their time wisely to just do a little few push-ups every now and then or you know what i'm saying go hard into the gym or you know run on the treadmill you know what i'm saying being consistent and you also become a threat because you start to realize like hey like this working out thing isn't so bad like i can continue this i can do this forever and the more days you do it the further along you become and it's harder for people to catch up so then you become that much more of a threat you become that much more of a problem because your body is changed it's more aesthetic you know what i'm saying it's more masculine it's more healthier you know what i mean and it's like it's easier to just kind of chill and relax or play the video game but you got to think about it when you're playing the video game it's a relaxation time when you're in the gym you have to focus you got to plan you got to take the time out you got to diet 
and America, sad to say, it's obese. It's a lot of obesity in America, and it's just like from you taking the time out and working out, you're becoming that top 10%. So it's like no matter sometimes how much money somebody has or how the social status is, somebody out there is going to like you just because you're in shape, just because you have that physique, because they may look at the guy who has a lot of money, but he may not be in shape. You know what I'm saying? Or they, he may have a lot of money. He may be in shape, but he's not you. So it's like you then make yourself better because on top of that personality that you have on top of being, you know, if you're a class clown on top of, you know, say you having great grades or you being able to, you know, do well in the workplace or move up the corporate ladder or do all these great accolades. You also have a really, really good body. So it then changes that dynamic because it's like, OK, everything you were before, it's that much more attractive because now it's packaged in a nice gift which is your body you know what I'm saying it's packaged right you know what I'm saying you you then become the full package you know what I mean so it's just like when doing that you got to realize everybody's not going to be happy for you everybody's not going to congratulate you everybody's not going to be on your side or everybody's not going to push you to keep going because if they push you and you actually become let's say a bodybuilder you become that influence or you become um aesthetic in a way or you know what I'm saying it becomes changes you know what i'm saying it becomes like admiration but once you push a little bit too far it's like wait a minute okay like now you're showing off you know what i mean now you're doing too much now i'm a little uncomfortable you know what i mean so it's like you just have to keep that in mind you know what i'm saying it's like not everything is hate but a lot of times with men different dynamics people don't see you as a threat and once you become a threat they got to knock you down. You know what I'm saying? They got to compare themselves now. Now they're not happy because you stole their joy because they're comparing themselves to you. So you just have to realize that. You have to realize that people are paying attention and your body is the first thing that people see. You know what I'm saying? If, let's say if you're like 50 miles, not 50 miles, if you're 50 feet away, people are going to see your shape, how your shape, how your physique is. You know what I'm saying? Even through clothes, they're going to see, okay, boom. So it's like you then reach a broader amount of people because further away people can see, okay, this person's in shape. You know what I mean? Like just like, okay, this guy is strong. You know what I'm saying? Or this woman is strong. This woman has a good shape. What people people notice that people next best thing. And it's just like if you have a, body, a nice body, it's more competitive. You know what I'm saying? We all compete at the end of the day. So just realize that. And you know what I'm saying? Once you start doing that, you become more chosen. And that's the only thing. You're just more chosen. You know what I'm saying? You're just more of a better selection you know what i mean it's like the survival of the fittest and i just we all deal with that you know what i mean it's just like something that happens and you don't have to worry about it but just keep going keep pressing don't stop but yeah that's the end of the video i just really want to give you guys some tips like i wanted to explain that like kind of like jealousy when you deal with that if you deal with hate you know what i'm saying they don't hate you it's just the fact of envy is dangerous you know what i'm saying it's, it's just the fact of you're changing and people are uncomfortable but if you like the video, make sure you like the video. I'll be back with other videos. We're doing this series, body gaming, everything like that. If you like the video, just let me know. Tell me, like the video, and subscribe for more content. And I'll be back. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.